There's a holdup in the Bronx. Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Cruise ships do and I go wild. Car 54, where are you? This afternoon, when I interviewed Commissioner Harper at police headquarters, he had this to say. The fat, the thin, the flabby. Any member of the police department who has allowed himself to get out of condition will either get back into condition or be weeded out. When they joined the force, they had to pass rigid weight and height standards. I'm going to see to it that every policeman in New York still meets those standards or that policeman will no longer be a policeman. Hey, what? Hey, 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 did you hear? Did you hear? He hit the 36th precinct this morning. Knocked off five fats, three skinnies, and a short. Maybe he misses pretty far out here in the Bronx. Are you kidding? That belly of yours will bring him here. He's like a bloodhound. He smells fat. I gotta gain 12 pounds, or you're married to an ex-policeman. Hey, hold it, fellas, will you? Hold it. This is important. What is it? Tomorrow night's the Brotherhood Club dance. I got all these tickets left. Don't bother us with a dance. We're fighting for our lives. Now, wait a minute. You made me chairman of the committee. Now, get out there and sell these tickets. Cha-cha, those unsightly pounds away. A big joke to you, huh, Muldoon? That's because you don't have a weight problem. I can't help it. I guess I'm just lucky. You know I haven't changed in the last 10 years. Six foot six, 182 and three quarters pounds. There, on the nose, 182 and three quarters. Six foot. Six foot. <laughs> Hey, 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 Muldoon, how much are the tickets? What tickets? The tickets to the dance. What dance? The Brotherhood dance tomorrow, the one you're the chairman of. Oh, yeah, that dance. Uh, see me about it later. Okay, big boy. <laughs> Wait. Why did you call me big boy? I just said big boy. I know, but why? Did you uh, notice something? No. What should I notice? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, fellas, come in. I got an idea. Hi, Francis. Boy, look at all those poor slobs with problems. Gunther. Hey, we're lucky. No fat problems. And as far as height, I just make the minimum five foot eight, and you make the maximum six foot six. Six foot six. Gunther, I'm in trouble. What's up? I'm up. I was six foot six. I just measured myself. I'm six foot seven. Six foot seven? I can't understand it. I grew an inch. Ah, don't be silly. At your age, you don't grow. Don't tell me. I just measured myself. I'm six foot seven. Maybe I had your hat on. No. <laughs> Maybe you had cords. That'll do it. Well, you're a big help. If that commissioner ever hits this precinct and notices me, that's it. Ooh, ooh. I got it. What? You can transfer to the mounted police. Then, when the commissioner sees you, you can tell him that you got a tall horse. I wish we had a tall horse with us here now. I'd sit on you and talk to the horse. Francis, you got nothing to worry about. I haven't. There's so much of you, who's going to notice another inch? Hey, Maldu, we're forming a basketball team to lose weight. We want you to be our center. Your center? Why pick me, of all people, who'd be your center? Why, you? Because you're tall, that's why. Sure, you're just about the tallest guy on the force. Me tall? <laughs> it's just an impression I give. Actually, I'm not tall at all. It's just that I have a good posture. You know he's right? Actually, he's kind of short. <laughs> Gee, that's tough, Alex. The commissioner hit your precinct, huh? Six fats, two skinnies, and four shorts? You mean he's knocking off shorts now, too? Look, Alex, did he mention anything about coming out here to the Bronx? He didn't, huh? Well, I'd better alert the boys. You never know. Yeah. 
So long, Alex. Anderson, send Schnauzer in. <laughs> don't you ever knock? You called me. A man calls, you don't knock. Uh, never mind. Twenty years I've been here, I never knocked. I know, that's why I called you here. <laughs> Leo, you've known me longer than any man around here. I feel I can ask you a question like this. What is it? How do I look? You're very handsome, son. I don't mean that. How do I look height-wise? Height-wise? I mean, do I look short to you? Short? <laughs> Not at all. You're a very well set up man, if I may say so. You may say so, Schnauzer. In fact, I may say so myself. I'm the same weight and height as the day I joined the force. You're a credit to the precinct, Captain. Well, that comes from keeping fit. I'm going to see that the rest of this outfit starts getting into shape, too. Anderson, call a formation. Attention, all personnel. You are to form immediately in the main room for an inspection by the captain. On the double. Inspection, sir. Good. Then I called you all together to get a good look at you. I don't have to tell you. Don't want to lose any of it. I think you know that your captain is trying to be a friend to all of you. But with Commissioner Hopper on the rampage, I'm going to give it to you straight. From now on, your captain doesn't want any fat friends. He doesn't want any skinny friends. He doesn't want any short or tall friends. He wants friends who conform to the department's weight and height standards. Well, so much for that. Now, about the dance tomorrow night. Where's Muldoon? Why isn't he here? Here I am, sir. Hey, Muldoon, about the uh, refreshments. Stay away from the rich food, fattening foods. Is there anything else, sir? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, dismissed. Hello, Mother. That my big baby boy? <laughs> Mother. Yes, Francis. Why did you call me your big baby boy? Because that's what you are. You're my big baby boy. Mother, would you do me a favor? When other people are around, would you please not call me your big baby boy? I'm too old to be called your big baby boy. Just call me your baby boy. Of course, Francis. <laughs> right down. I have your milk and cookies ready. I'm not hungry, Mother. I don't feel like milk and cookies. But it's the milk and cookies that made you the big boy you are. So that's what they <laughs> Milk and cookies. Mother, I don't ever want to see any milk and cookies ever again. But, Francis, you're a growing boy. I know. I just grew out of the police force. What do you mean? Mother, since I've joined the force, I've grown an inch. Wonderful, my baby boy has grown an inch. Do you know what that means? It means I've grown an inch over the department maximum. If they find out, I'll be suspended. So let them suspend you. I think there's something unwholesome about a job where you can't have all the milk and cookies you want. Mother, this is serious. I've got to do something. I know what you ought to do. What? You ought to get yourself a girl. Mother, how is that going to help? Well, a girl would give you something else to think about. As it is, all you do is sit around the house and grow. Come in. Hello, Leo. Hello, Mrs. Moulton. Hello, Officer Schnauzer. I got the decorations for the dance. I got them at a store in my sector, at court. Here is the receipt. That's swell. I'll see you. Wait. Uh, O'Hara's waiting in the car. This will just take a minute. Yeah? Uh, Leo, uh, this morning you called me Big Boy. What should I call you? 
Shorty, you're a big boy. I know, but confidentially, Leo, did you say that because, well, did you sort of notice that I was taller than usual? But what's going on? Suddenly, I'm the world's foremost authority on height. First the captain, now you. Leo, this is very important. Is it noticeable that I'm tall? Of course it's noticeable. Everybody notices it. I know, but why me? Look at McCabe. He's six foot six. I never heard anyone call him big boy. Well, you don't notice McCabe is tall because his partner Wallace is six foot four. That's right. But you, with that shrimp tootie around you all the time, it's like General de Gaulle with Mickey Rooney. That's right. That's why I attract attention. I gotta go. Goodbye, Mrs. Muldoon. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Leo, for everything. I should have thought of that before. Thought of what, dear? Until Commissioner Harper's wave of terror blows over, I gotta stay away from Tootie. But how can you? He's your partner. It's not so important when we're in the patrol car sitting down, because I can slouch. But at all other times, I'll just have to avoid him. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Francis. Say, Muldoon. Oh, hello, Captain. What's the name of the band you got for the Brotherhood Dance? Uh, Cy Sweeney and his Growing Weeds. Uh, <laughs> Littling Reeds. Well, as long as they play fast. I want a lot of beef sweated off of that dance. Did you hear about it? The commissioner cracked down on the 21st this morning. He caught seven fats, three skinnies, and a long. A long, a long. How long was the long? Oh, he was about a half inch over six foot six. Suspended him on the spot. Really? Hey, Francis, I was waiting for you at the bus stop. Uh, see you later. Uh, Francis! <laughs> Tootie, how tall are you? Oh, five foot eight, Captain, the same as you. That's right. Well, what I mean, fellas, is we ought to see more of each other. We sort of ought to hang around together. Why? Well, we have common interests. Hey, how about a movie tonight? Francis, tonight I'd like to go bowling. Uh, excuse me, Gunther, we're discussing something. <laughs> Hey, how about this weather, huh? Sure. Hey, we've got to go. Sure, sure, let's go. Wait a minute. Are you working in plain clothes today? Oh, yeah, my uniform. <laughs> See you fellas later. <laughs> Look, Gunther. Oh, you're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. What's the matter? It's just so sudden. Look, Gunther, let me explain. You don't have to explain. After nine years, you want new friends, new faces. Will you stop being melodramatic? I've got to hang around with tall guys, so no one will notice that I've grown an inch. If I hang around with you, I look even taller. You mean I can't talk to you anymore? Of course you can talk to me, but save it for the patrol car when we're sitting down, where I can slouch. Well, what happens if I got something very important to tell you and I can't catch you in a slouch position? <laughs> That's right. I never thought of that. If you were only four inches taller. Ooh, ooh. What is it? Just ooh, ooh. Hurry up, get dressed. Come with me. Sir, these are the highest heels I ever made for anybody. I do hope you'll be careful, sir. Oh, hurry up and get them laced. We're on our lunch hour. There you are. Do be careful, sir. Give me a hand, Francis. <laughs> Take it easy, Gunther. If you fall off those shoes, you'll break your neck. Don't worry. Hey, it's beautiful up here. Come on, <laughs> let's see how we look together now. <laughs> Gee, it feels great. Muldoon, I've got to see you right away. Yes, sir. <laughs> 